MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here's Christian McCaffrey. His pops was a giant for three years. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. First down, it's Darnold. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Jadevian Clowney able to record his fifth sack of the season. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit, or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that, give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Eight yards there helps, but they're still stuck now. Third and long coming up. Well, this defense for the Giants, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Finding some room at midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 43. The play fake, and it's Darnold. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10. To throw is Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 36 yards.
Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Again, Darnold. That's complete out right to the tight end, Trimble. Touchdown! Tommy Trimble, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. ground this is Saquon Barkley and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten well this defense for the Panthers they were very good a week ago in that win over Minnesota and every defensive team that we talked to they spend a lot of time talking about creating turnovers and anytime you get two or more in a game you've had a really good performance they exceeded that number in a huge way they got the football back four times in the win so they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That burst good for 20 and a first down. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Running left, it's Barkley. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were very good a week ago in that win over Minnesota. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were very good a week ago in that win over Minnesota. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. to throw Huntley. Trucks over it, and Ingram holds it in. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. 
A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Huntley to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina, and on we go to fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And Gano's kick is right through. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. So the field goal that cuts the lead in half as they, too, are able to get some points on their initial drive of the game. Yeah, all in all, a pretty positive response, right, to the points that were scored against them. And they got a little help from their opponent anyway. Missed the conversion, so now they're just three back. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. First down, Carolina. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Off of play action, Darnold. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that's caught inside the 35. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Darnold on first down. Open man is Robbie Anderson. Give him nine there on the first down completion. To throw again on second down, Darnold. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. Well, Darnold, he lost the football. 
much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. Barkley a first down and more. And all the way down to the 41 yard line. 51 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback. He had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. A first down carry for Barkley. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Now it's the backup, Newton. And that is incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. And he missed it. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And yeah, they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Second down and eight. Another run, this time McCaffrey. 
Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. and still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. the shotgun here's Darnold and he will find the rookie from LSU Terrace Marshall and he is going to have a Panthers first down they needed four he doubled that he wound up getting eight Darnold to Marshall there first down Panthers A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. On first down, Darnold. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Dexter Lawrence. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. A growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Darnold will hand off to McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. 42 yards on the ground for him so far. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Back to throw, Darnold. And he's got a man on the crossing route. That's Moore. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give them 19 there as the drive marches forward. A first down throw, Darnold. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. He was trying to go back to Moore there. And that'll bring up second down. Now Darnold. Open man left side. It's the tight end Trimble. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Christian McCaffrey as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Second, 
So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on the two-point try. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken from about the 12. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. John Ross, the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. So we come upon halftime intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Pulls it in at the 13. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. From the 31. Newton completes it to Evan Ingram. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, Giants. I tell you, for a defender, that's got to be a scary sight, seeing a big man like this with a head of steam behind him as he makes that catch and then turns up field. Yeah, normally when you talk about tight ends, you immediately begin talking about them rumbling down the field. But to me, he was pretty well gliding downfield there. Very athletic for a big man, and he takes this one all the way to pay dirt. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And the lead is down to two. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. 
It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Darnold from the gun. There's Tremble, the tight end. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. A fake to McCaffrey, now Darnold. And that's incomplete. But Tommy Trimble, the intended target. And now it's third down. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. Found his target. It's Anderson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. And the defense bit hard there. They were thinking run all the way, play fake, working to perfection on fourth down. And it was able to work because of the down and distance situation. Fourth and short, you've got to respect the run. You show a little play action. Oftentimes, you find people open for what you need, and that's exactly what they got done there. Faking the give, Darnold. Buying time to his left. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Throwing again on second down. Darnold has got Anderson on the slant. And the Panthers are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. Now it's Darnold. Flushed out right. That is caught. It's Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. Robbie Anderson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. So with the missed PAT in his rear view mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. A fairly short kick from the 14. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Yeah. 
Still nine remaining on second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Going deep downfield for Ross. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Throwing on third down, Newton able to shake him off. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's Chris Jones now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for ring. Try to get it to Anderson, but it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get a second one. 74 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Saquon Barkley. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now it's second and nine. Back to throw, Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The intended target, Saquon Barkley, and it's third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Here's Newton. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Gano's kick is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. So the three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, Barton, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one.
tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Darnold. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Leonard Williams in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Back now here at MetLife Stadium, and that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Panthers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Leonard Williams, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Yeah, not a great one there. Out of bounds in the air. And the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45. First down, Barkley. He'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Barkley. And some room to run now. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Boy, Saquon Barkley, nothing short of electrifying with a football in his hands. And he showed off one of his biggest attributes on that one, and that is his speed. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He can see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Jackson now to return, and he won't quite make it to the 25. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now to this point. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first down, it's Darnold. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Here's Darnold. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Leonard Williams make that now eight sacks for him on the season. But collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number 
it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. They went with the dive look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Here's the Panthers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now here's Ross. For a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Hassan Reddick make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. So that one will be accepted. McCaffrey on the counter. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A play fake, and it's Darnold. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Less than two minutes to play. Down to the wire we go in a one-point game. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's a throw out wide to Anderson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Here's second and a yard. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Yeah. 
This is McCaffrey. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Here's second and 10. Darnold. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore, and it's third down. Important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Darnold to throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. That is caught. It's Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. Robbie Anderson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Now it's Darnold. Complete at the one. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Darnold. And that's complete to the right side. It's Marshall. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Thank you. 
And this one is right down Broadway. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. 